Egg farmers in the West are worried about their future, with many saying they could be forced out of business. From the new year, an EU-wide ban on keeping battery hens comes into force. But nearly half of all EU countries say they plan to ignore it, which means cheaper, illegal eggs could make their way into Britain. Luke Hanrahan reports. For almost 70 years, chickens have been kept in cramped and confined conditions like these on an industrial scale. For Peter Wood, who's been a poultry farmer in Somerset since 1959, the new law has been looming large on the horizon. Spending £2 million to convert his farm was always a daunting prospect, one that's been made more difficult by the fact that 13 European countries are simply turning a blind eye to the new EU legislation. Well, basically, what's happened is that Brussels have wiped their hands of it and it's being left to individual countries to police. I mean, in the 52 years that I've been keeping chickens, this is the biggest change that we've ever had. Eggs from caged birds like these will soon be a thing of the past on our supermarket shelves. But half of the 18% of imported eggs come in in powdered or liquid form, which is almost impossible to police. That doesn't take into account the illegal eggs that are used in the baking of cakes and quiches, effectively making an illegal egg like this legal to sell in the UK, which is what's worrying people. The National Farmers Union says it will be impossible to compete on price. They believe they could be overrun by illegal imports and will lose markets on the continent. The farmers in this country spent over £400 million getting the, the system to where they are. And we just would require a level playing field to allow these illegal eggs to be kept in the country of origin and not come into this country. Banning battery cages in the UK is obviously a positive step forward, but the fact that many European countries will not comply with the law has piled financial pressure on the southwest poultry farmers. Have you contemplated shutting up shop or have you, have, have you got to that stage? Um, we shall have to wait and see. Luke Hanrahan, BBC Points West.